After the CW found a big hit in Arrow, they did what everybody does these days. They spun it off into a new show. Therefore, we get The Flash. How does it stack up to Arrow? We'll find out. So, The Flash tells the story of Barry Allen, a crime scene investigator who, through a seri an accident involving a bolt of lightning and a bunch of science mumbo-jumbo, gains the powers of super speed and becomes The Flash. So that's basically the setup of the show. That's where we're going with this. So what's good? I like the cast of the show for the most part. The lead actor seems to do the awkward, likable, quirky guy pretty well. Uh, we didn't get to see a whole lot of The Flash yet, so we don't know really quite how well he'll do as a superhero. But for a starting point, as kind of a likable, quirky guy, he works. And clearly, they're kind of having, trying to give him like a, a Peter Parker Spider-Man vibe to the show, even though it's a DC property. But it has that kind of vibe to it. Um, and he he does that well. Along with that, there's a cast in the show that's a police force, and I like the actors there. I like what they're doing there. Uh, there's sp strong characters, strong actors, interesting dynamics between the people. There's a subplot in the show about uh, Barry Allen's dad being um, uh, convicted of murdering his mother, and there's kind of a mystery behind what happened, did he do it, and that's, it's kind of a neat dynamic. What's really cool about that is they got John Wesley Shipp, who played The Flash in the 1990s TV show, The Flash. And so it's neat that they brought him back and that he was willing to do it. And oh, I don't know what else he's doing, so of course he'd be willing to do it. But so that's just a really neat little way that they did that. What's not so good? Well, while I said I liked some of the cast, what I didn't like uh, was some of the other cast, specifically the people at Star Labs. None of them were memorable. None of the actors popped, stood out. There wasn't much about them that I liked. Um, so it, it's just kind of like, okay, we're here what's next. There wasn't a lot of chemistry between them, so it's a little bit disappointing. Another thing that I didn't like so much was the specific plot of the pilot episode. It's just kind of throwaway. Uh, it was just a random guy that you didn't care about. He's just there. He's bad. He's evil. And then he gets caught in the end. You know, okay, it, that happened. So the plot of the episode, beyond the origin story, just wasn't very good. It wasn't very compelling. And, um, even beyond that, like there's a section because he's struck by lightning that he's in a coma for a little bit and he comes out of it and people are like, hey, that's cool. You're not in a coma anymore. As opposed to being like shocked and awe. They're not like waiting for him. They're not checking up on him. He just kind of like strolls up, walks up to him like, hey, I'm better. And just watching it, it's just it seemed a little bit off the way that they did that. And on the ugly side of it, I'm really worried about the plot device that they're using to get villains for the show. The way it seems like they set it up is they've given themselves a Smallville-esque way to have freaks of the week, villains of the week, um, that are related to the way that uh, the Flash got his powers, and so then they'll get their powers through the same kind of thing that happened. And I'm really worried that it's just going to turn into, this week on The Flash, he fights the guy that was in water when this event happened. It'll just be goofy as can be. I'm, I'm not terribly excited about that. I mean, when I liked Smallville. I watched all of Smallville, big fan of Smallville. But that show's 15 years old. And so the plot device of just another Freak of the Week, it doesn't work anymore. Arrow did a good job of having tension and ongoing villains without it feeling like, in this week on Arrow, he takes on... It didn't do that. And that's what I really like that about Arrow. And I'm a little worried that The Flash is going to do a little bit of that. And also, uh, on the ugly side, like I said, the plot of this one was just kind of really, really weak. Um... Like, the big finale of it wasn't anything anybody wanted to see. It's him running into a storm. Who cares? I don't want to see that. Now, I'm, uh, let's be honest. I'm a little bit biased. I think the, the very first show I ever looked forward to its debut was the original Flash TV show from the 1990s. So the first TV show I was ever excited was coming out was that show. And I really liked it. And when they made that show, they gave the pilot a big budget. It was like basically a TV movie. And like it had a really memorable villain that had killed the Flash's brother because he felt betrayed. So he was out for revenge. And so the Flash is then out for revenge against this guy. And Pike was going to tear down. The, that's the bad guy. Was going to tear down the city and destroy the police. It was really kind of a compelling plot that you remembered the villain years later. I remember, remember the guy. This one was just some guy. The plot was just some plot. The old one, 
Flash goes has to stop a prison because they release all the inmates, and then he has to go and stop all these inmates from escaping, and then there's a fight at the end, and there's all this stuff that happens. This one, he runs into a storm. Woo! So it's, just, it's kind of disappointing, but I'm biased. I remember that old one. I'm pretty sure it had a huge budget. They, they literally got the guy that did compose the music for uh, Tim Burton's Batman and the guy that designed the costume for Tim Burton's Batman to do the old Flash so, show. So they clearly had a lot of resources. So, well, I know I said a lot of negatives. Really, honestly, I'm really excited about it. I saw the preview for next week, and it seemed like they're going to correct some of the problems I had with this episode. And I think I missed saying this before, but this it was a lot funnier than I was anticipating was going to be. There are a couple jokes in it where I actually did laugh out loud. And with that, the, the flash effects are really cool. Um, you know, technology's made it easier to do some really cool stuff. And I really like that. Um, so if I was to give it a rate it, rating, I'm going to keep watching. And I'm excited about where we're headed. I'm really excited about this show. And I think it's going to be really good. So go ahead and check out The Flash. The Flash.